career consultant with Career Analysts. I'm going to talk to you today about how to get into various careers. I'm going to tell you about how to become a forensic scientist. Forensic scientists um, really attend crime scenes and it's nothing like the what we see on CSI. Um, nobody's running around with guns, it's a very meticulous job where they would be collecting trace evidence um, of very minute detail. Um, every, every contact leaves a trace, so the forensic scientists are aiming to collect those traces and to provide evidence in court to support a prosecution. All forensic scientists are going to have a degree. It's very difficult to progress purely from the assistant role um, and the degrees would be in biology, pharmacology, uh, very much a scientific or perhaps material science background. Uh, there are degrees in the subject now, increasingly so, uh, but some of those are not actually um, recognised by the Forensic Society. So you would need to make sure that the degree that you took was um, a bona fide course. Obviously things do move very fast in forensic science and it's all quite a technical role now. Um, you would be looking at DNA fingerprinting, at, um, uh, at fingerprinting generally, and blood and body materials and things like that. So you would need to be uh, technically minded, good with IT, um, with also quite good at being able to write reports and to produce reports and also to perhaps be willing to attend court and to, um, to speak in court in support of the evidence that you've found. Uh, therefore you need to be a good communicator, you need to be very analytical, you need to be a good problem solver to be able to piece together what's happened um, and you need a very thorough, thorough and in-depth scientific background. But uh, on the job you would then also be um, trained up further as new technologies come in. It is important to realise that it is, uh, although there are a lot more opportunities these days, it is actually a very competitive field and I think for something like 30 vacancies there were 500 applications so you have to be aware that you're going to need to um, get as much relevant experience before you go. Obviously due to the sensitive nature of the field it is quite difficult to get relevant experience but and many new graduates will actually start in an assistant role and then progress on to uh, being a forensic scientist uh, fully fledged. So that's what you'd need to be able to do to, in order to progress to being and having a 